Hey there, I have come to the searing heat of the Central Valley of California because I wanted to see this bridge. It's one of the most dangerous bridges in the world and it's not because it has a troll underneath it, it has something a lot worse. So welcome to Parkfield in the middle of Central California and the self-proclaimed earthquake capital of the world. Seismic faults are not normally visible to the naked eye, but here it's really obvious where this bridge crosses over from the Pacific Plate to the North American Plate. You can see here where the bridge has recently been patched, where it joins the mainland. And if you look behind me, you'll see that the concrete piers have actually moved five feet from when the bridge was originally built in 1930. The piers supporting the bridge are extra wide, and that means that the whole bridge can move from side to side, a lot more than most bridges can to accommodate uh, straddling the fault line. The Pacific Plate is to the west, and the North Atlantic Plate is to the east, and the bit in between them, the San Andreas Fault itself, here actually looks like a, a dry creek bed. Well, not quite dry at the moment, but nearly dry. When the bridge was built, these rails were straight. Parkfield experiences regular seismic activity, and that's what's led the US Geological Survey to set up camp here. They've decided that this is the best place across the whole of the US to study earthquakes, and with a magnitude 6 quake once every 11 years on average, is a pretty good place to keep watch. The 12 and a half feet between the two halves of this marker here represent the distance that the plates have moved since 1931. And on a side note, the guy that came up with this marketing idea, I want to hire him. Well, thankfully no seismic activity today in Parkfield. Well, despite my best efforts, no noticeable seismic activity today in Parkfield. It's coming, we just don't know when. In the meantime, it's a fantastic place where you can actually see the geology of the San Andreas Fault right on the surface.